Good afternoon, Sandwich, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Troll for Sandwich, the series where I let Jake decide my lunch. Let's... Oh, uh, wait a minute. To everything there is a season, says that song by the birds, though to be honest, they were singing lyrics written by Pete Seeger that he cribbed from the book of Ecclesiastes. And the season for this sandwich was September when Jake rolled it, or perhaps sooner in the summer, when the Lay's limited time BLT sandwich flavored chips that Jake added to this sandwich were still available. I do not have these chips. What I do have is a particular set of skills. Along with some of the classic Lay's chips the snack was built on, I have bread and bacon and all the fixins for a BLT. I also have a dehydrator and a stubborn streak. So I made BLT powder. Of course, mayonnaise is almost entirely fat, so it doesn't dehydrate well. And the standard kitchen blender I use to break up the BLT bits doesn't exactly render a fine dust. The mix is a little coarse and oily as a result, and it has to be kept refrigerated to keep it from going rancid. There is certainly a better, smarter, more sciency way to do this. But it tastes like bacon and toast, with some of that tartly savory tomato flavor and a hint of the tangy creaminess of mayo. I do not detect any lettuce flavor in the powder, but that seems on brand for most BLTs I've had. So I guess I'll give this a shot. The Old Faithful from episode 317. Let's go! It's a ham and cheddar sandwich on quote-unquote Italian bread. In my experience, actual Italian bread doesn't tend to be this squishy, but that's what they call it at the store. I'm using a smoked Virginia ham from the grocery store deli and a sliced extra sharp cheddar. Jake always uses two slices of cheese, and so will I, though I think that two thick slices of a strong cheese like this in the middle of a sandwich can tend to take things over. Green onions and sport peppers were the roughage rolls for this sandwich, and my problem with both of these as a sandwich filling is that they have a tendency to roll right out of the sandwich, as these did to me frequently during assembly. There's got to be a better way to use these in a sandwich, but I'm not going to tell Jake how to build one of these things any more than I'm going to tell the dice which way is up. To design with dice is to court chaos. Stacking the tables may weigh outcomes in your favor, but all bets are off once the dice are in play. The final two ingredients, the chips and cupy mayo, were both hand-picked by Jake after lucky rolls of 20 gave him back some measure of autonomy to finish the sandwich. For those who don't know, the original creator, Jake, who goes by Adventures in Ardia and has a wildly popular series called Roll for Sandwich that I'm riffing on here, is a big D&D guy. And often, in D&D, rolling a 20, the highest roll possible with a 20-sided die, sometimes called a natural 20 or nat 20, as Jake says, often confers an exceptionally good result, a critical hit with additional damage, or an other success beyond usual expectations. So Jake chose these chips in this mayo. For me, I would prefer mustard in a sandwich with ham and a strong cheese like this. A simple, pungent yellow mustard is a better foil for the rich, salty, and strong flavors of a smoked ham and a sharp cheddar than a creamy, fatty spread like mayonnaise. But these green onions are already providing some pungency, and the sport peppers a little heat and a briny bite, so maybe mayo could work here. It's not for me, though. The soft, squishy bread, the mass of cold cheese in the center of the sandwich, the squidgy mayo in between all combined to coat my teeth in pasty wedges of gunk. My favorite part of this sandwich was the BLT flavor of the chips, popping up like a groundhog halfway through each bite. If the bread were toasted, if I'd used only one slice of cheese, if it had mustard instead of or in addition to the mayo, any one of these would have improved it. But the dice give what the dice give. When it comes to chaos sandwiches, Maybe this is the best result one can expect.